I want to welcome you back to finish this up with for the part three. It shouldn't be too long. Uh, this is one sweet company purchased a machine that cost $80,000. And that's what we have right there. It cost $80,000. Uh, they paid $56,46.06 for the machine and they're making payments of $5,000. And what they want to know is how many payments are they going to have to make, their annual payments? Well, here we do know the interest rate's 10%. We don't know the period that we're talking, the number of payments we're talking about. Uh, for the table, we know we're going to be using table five because it's an annuity due because it's going to be made immediately. And here's the calculation. We'll have equal, um, we'll have 80,000 minus the 56,046 divided by, because that's the balance that they borrowed, the 5,000. And that gives us this. So what we'll do is go to table five. That's what we have here. That's the future value of an annuity, a present value of an annuity. Look up 10% and then go down the row until we hit 4.790788. And we should see, we go across, that should equal six payments. Okay. On this one, this is going to be a little different calculation. It's NPER, which stands for the number of periods, 10%. See, it's a little bit faster than the other one. The payment we know is a negative 5,000. And we also know the present value is 80,000 minus. Okay. And we know the type is 1 because it began immediately. So it comes up to 6 periods. Okay. So that takes care of that one. And then the last one we have is on January 1st, 2016, Wildcats Shelter leased a hay baler from Ago Company. The lease requires Wildcats to make $3,000 payments, which we have there, uh, on January 1st of each year for five years. And the interest rate is 12%. We go to Table 5 because this lease is beginning immediately. So we come up with you know, five periods. Or you got five periods at 12%. You come up with that number there. So to get this, then we'll take equal the 3,000 times the 4.0, and that's what they'll end up paying. For the Excel port, we would have equal present value. Oh, I forgot the equal sign, didn't I? Try this again. Equal present value. The rate is 12%. Number of periods is 5. The payment is minus 3,000 each year. And it's a 1 because it's beginning of each year that you pay it. And you come up with 12,012,05. So that completes this. Uh, that's the short version, I guess. <laughs> I to use that tongue in cheek. Of the uh, time value of money. And uh, hopefully that helps.